Hello everyone, welcome to Rasan Academy, all of you. So as you can see over here, I have opened the notification for the uh, Government of India Bhaba Atomic Research Center advertisement for the selection of junior research uh, fellowships. And the number of fellowships which are uh, for three important subjects, physical science, chemical science and uh, life sciences are a total of 105. Okay. And guys, uh, uh, as you already are aware of, Bhava Atomic Research Center is a prime institute for the research uh, for the nuclear uh, program, nuclear energy program of India. All right. And, uh, uh, you know, we are going to talk about mostly in the areas of physical, chemical and life sciences where the uh, uh, notification is out for. Now, first thing, the applications are invited from interested students for the award award of junior research fellowship at this uh, center all right at the uh, uh, selected uh, candidates will register for phd in the homi bhaba national institute hbni a deemed to be in, uh, university of department of atomic energy all right so what are the areas of research projects in the science discipline let's talk about it particularly for chemistry i'm talking about chemical sciences it is the material chemistry solid state high temperature chemistry, nuclear materials, obviously nanomaterials, electrochemistry, spectroscopy, radiation and photochemistry, advanced separation technique, analytical sciences, catalysis, materials for energy conversion and storage, chemical sensors, polymers, theoretical and computational chemistry, nuclear and radiochemistry, actinide chemistry, radiation processing, radio pharmaceutics and active pharmaceutical ingredients. So these are all the topics in the chemical sciences. If you are from the life science and physical science background, also you can check out all of these um, important topics uh, for the research. Now let's also move onwards and check out all the important uh, eligibility criteria, age limit and everything, all of the details about this notification. So the candidate must be an Indian national uh, and uh, the age should be 28 years as of the last date for the receipt of uh, application. Age relaxation is applicable up to three years in the case of OBC NCL applicants and five years in the case of uh, SCST applicants and 10 years in the case of person with benchmark disability. Okay, and only see it's it's very important that you have to um, uh, see that your matriculation certificate or birth certificate will be accepted as a proof of the date of birth only. All right. Now let's move onwards to the eligibility criteria that uh, what is the important eligibility criteria and who can apply to this uh, JRF post. Now candidates should have consistently good at academic record and a minimum of 60% aggregate in the BSc and 55% aggregate in MSc from a recognized university. This is the minimum eligibility criteria. Okay. Second important thing is for candidates uh, who have uh, completed and are awaiting the final result of MSc degree. So for example, who are there in the MSc final year and are awaiting your results, they can also apply. However, such candidates should necessarily upload the copies of the mark sheets of BSc degree and a copy of MSc first year mark sheet along with the application. So th these are the documents that you have to uh, like submit online uh, along with the application. Such candidates should have scored marks above 60% aggregate until the previous semester or year and the minimum aggregate of 60% in the BSc level. All right, so these are the uh, minimum requirements. Now, in case appearing candidates are selected for JRF, they should secure 55% in the aggregate in MSc examination, that is including the first year and second year, okay? And they should submit their MSc degree and mark sheet on the date of interview because uh, see it's mentioned if you are in the result awaited category by the interview if your result is out you must bring a copy of that in your interview failing which the candidate must must be uh, terminated all right so you must take care of these little things and for those candidates with five years of MSc integrated degree they should have secured a minimum of 55 percent aggregate in the MSc or BSMS dual degree. Right. So this, these are the minimum qualifications. 
um yeah so these certificates also have to be uploaded right now let's move onwards to the students who have done msc or integrated msc these are the eligible qualifications for the following subject for chemistry now you must have had physics as an ancillary subject as the bsc level because in the bsc level uh, for those who are doing uh, their B who have done their bsc from chemistry they've had to study physics maths and uh, let's say for example there was an option so in the option you must have had physics okay and mathematics at the hsc level or let's say 12th board level in your 12th class you must have uh, mathematics this is the basic criteria candidates who have not scored pa or uh, passing marks in the physics at the bsc level and or in the mathematics at the hsc level are not eligible to apply it is a must physics as well as maths are must for applying to this post okay this has to be kept in mind moving onward now that is not the only eligibility criteria you have a lot many things to uh, consider also the candidates with msc or integrated msc in industrial chemistry polymer chemistry textile chemistry environmental chemistry pharmaceutical chemistry petroleum chemistry nanoscience nanotechnology m pharm they are not eligible to apply it is about pure sciences that they are talking okay and uh, yeah so let's move onwards in addition to above only those candidates who have appeared and successfully cleared at least one of the following qualification qualifying exam will be shortlisted for the barc mumbai that is uh, they must have a valid ugc or csir net fellowship okay so both the ugc and the csir grf is going to uh, work over here all right and slet and lectureship or uh, you know slet examination or ls is not eligible it is mentioned ls students cannot apply only the ugc or csir net grf can apply with a jest score so jest is for physics icmr icar these are for life sciences dbt is also for life sciences and with the gate score in the physics chemistry life sciences biotechnology so it's not necessary that you have a grf only you can also apply with a valid gate score okay that's great news so now moving onwards uh, what about the selection process so applications will be scrutinized and candidates will be shortlisted for interview based on the academic uh, performance and score obtained in the national qualifying examinations okay so these are all uh, you know you can just go through the um, uh, general instructions because these are like seriously general instructions so it's just uh, one time you have to go through all of them i'm just uh, giving you a quick review at the time of interview the candidate will be required to bring the printouts of their online application mark sheet certificates and the copy of the mark sheets and certificates whichever you have uploaded okay all of these things you have to uh, take shortlisted candidates must bring all the original certificate of educational qualification experience date of birth caste certificate in the prescribed format disability certificate in the respect of pwbd candidates also the list of candidates selected for the award of grf will be displayed on the barc website itself okay so yeah guys there are a total of 105 uh, uh grf post for the three important subjects and that's why we are uh, like going through all these important things in very much detail you can download the brochure on the main website of which the link i'm going to provide in the description of this video now let's move onwards to application fee the application fee of 500 rupees is payable at the time of submission of online application and you have to completely uh, pay uh, the application fee online only through net banking debit credit or upi application fee is exempted for women candidates and candidate belonging to the scst and the person with benchmark disability all right so keep that in mind and yes um then moving onwards uh there is also a detailed description of how you are going to uh, like fill out the application fee detail guidelines for the payment of application fees available under the menu job application how to pay application fee on the main website you can go through all of these things 
now the application fee should be paid on or before the last date of receipt of online application candidates are advised to submit the online application much before the closing date and do not wait because there is going to be a heavy traffic as always now how to apply online this is important guys where are you going to apply aapko yahan apply karna hai https recruit.bark.gov.in here you are going to apply facility for submission of online application will be available from a, uh, from uh, 408 uh, 2023 to 31st so 31st is our last date and we should keep that in mind okay 31st august is the last date to apply now application will be accepted online only candidate should not submit multiple applications please keep this in mind only one application is going to be uh, submitted otherwise they will cancel both now while filling the application online it is mandatory for the candidate to indicate all their education and professional qualification under the column educational and professional qualification failing which their application will not be processed now if you are pursuing msc or pursuing msc integrated you have to like uh, correctly tick this in the drop down box so be very precise in whatever your degree is they are just telling you that now about the documents you have to upload a passport size photograph in the jpeg which should not exceed 20 kb and also the candidate should upload the uh, uh, 12th uh your 12th examination certificate bsc and msc mark sheet because they are going to confirm that you had maths in 12 and physics in bsc right and the degree certificate along with valid qualification examination score card that is your net jrf or any other uh, national examination score card and caste certificate if applicable okay the online applications um without the attachment of the document will be disqualified so uh, please take care of this you have to like submit all of these right individual semester wise mark sheet of bsc and msc may be compressed separately into a single file and uploaded they are telling you that if you are having individual semester wise marks of bsc and msc you can just compress them into one single file and upload it which uh, must not exceed the uh, size which is mentioned on the website okay right in case you are having any difficulty in applying you can uh, you can just uh, mail your complaints along with a screenshot to jrf@barc.gov.in now more importantly guys for those who are selected for interview after the application process a traveling allowance will be also provided uh, which will be reimbursed to and fro third ac railway fare by the shortest route Uh, from the uh, registered city mentioned in their application to mumbai okay and just in case if you are traveling uh, by air only the ac 3 tier normal fare or actual fare which is less from the registered address uh, will be reimbursed all right so yeah you can go through that also also let's talk about the fellowship and tenure so candidates the fellowship uh, amount is the same for jrf as decided by csir or ugc it's 31000 per month and uh, this is going to be initially for 2 years and once uh, the work is satisfactory it is going to be um, extended and upgraded to srf which is 35000 per month all right also the total period of fellowship shall uh, in no case exceed 5 years they are entitled for contingency grant including book allowance for 40000 per year all right so this is the contingency grant which you are also going to get along with your jrf okay now um, yeah you can also go through all of these things these are important things now let's talk about the important uh, dates once again you have to keep this in mind um yeah and also this thing candidates will also not be allowed to appear for the interview if you if they fail <clears throat> to bring the print out of the application you have to get the print out of the application valid original photo identity card such as a voter id driving license aadhar passport college id whichever original mark sheet or certificates as well as one set of self attested photocopy of all the documents at the time of interview so this is important for those student who are selected for the interview so receipt of uh, applications is going to be 4th of august last date 
for the receipt of application is 31st August and interview tentative date is around and September. Also informing all of you guys very very importantly that there is a uh, 20% off going on on all the CSIR UGC net subscriptions for the Unacademy and this is valid till 12th of August. And I want all of you who are interested in joining to join before this date, 12th of August, because uh, there is a complete 20% off. And you can use my code Jagriti S. I have just started a new course in the organic chemistry in my plus classes on an academy. And a lot more important practice as well as uh, uh, discussion is going on over there. So if you are interested, you can join me on an academy plus using my code Jagriti S. Have a nice day, everyone. I'll see you all soon.